Baroche! Ha ha ha! Pro Gamer! <laughs> hey everybody, Baroche Pro Gamer here. And this is uh, episode 4 of my Let's Play of Mario Golf Advanced Tour via the Wii U Virtual Console. And I've been doing this since uh, it just got recently uh, released. And uh, I'm taking advantage of uh, higher graphical uh, fidelity. Oh, speaking of that, I want to check here. Settings. Oh, why didn't I have smooth screening turned on? Okay. Well, what that does is that that sort of that sort of gives more of a pronunciation to uh, the borders, and it sort of smooths them out. So, yeah, now now things will, you know, certain things might look slightly blurrier, but certain things might be you know more defined at the same time here. So, regardless, though, oh, you're that new student, David. Your manager told me all about you. Play around. Time for the tourney. No, we'll do this as we go along. You know, for the most for the most part, this course is not super, super difficult. The guy with the sun visor is setting things up. Now, uh, everyone is in groups of four, but I never see you never see any of the other players, you know, it's just me at the time. We start off with a relatively long but relatively simple uh Par four as well. Generally, I like to add pop spin to uh, drives to squeak out a little bit more distance. 260 is really good for this point in the game, although it, it definitely helps to have at this point. Um, back at the end of episode one, having gone to uh, having gone to the Clubmaker's Hut and gotten uh, the ticket and the POW clubs. That's very helpful indeed. I want to try to make a shot that like carries to the green but then, you know, sort of gently slows down. Actually, I could maybe do a forward that just lands short of the green and just rolls up. Maybe something like this will do nicely. That rolled a lot more than I thought. Usually, that's why I usually prefer to uh, use backspin most of the time. You know, play it closer, but then with more backspin. No matter. If you can sink putts, then it'll save you from a lot of, you know, mediocre shots. Nate Dog. Noshi, Yusuki, it's a lot of Japanese. Helen Joe Real Peach Hmm Iron Belly, Sea Bass, Noodle, all these weird ass names that don't really make sense. Nonetheless, that's that's a birdie. And you can get badges in this game for scoring birdie or batters on holes, and the game also keeps track of your best performance on each hole. You know, with uh increasingly more lucrative badges for better scores. So that can be that can be a reason to return to tournaments after you have already conquered them before. Can't quite hit hard enough to go over that tree, but I can still land here with reasonable efficiency. Hit a little more of a draw so that I kind of don't have less of a risk of catching those trees. All right, let's try a, a sort of an iron shot that's more of my style here. See what backspin does. I really had enough loft to get over that tree. Well, it still rolls a lot. Maybe occasionally I'll have to invest in spin. Unless I decide to make a mental note of the fact that my fa faculty for spinning is not the strongest. Although, like I said, that's not a super important stat. This is actually a tough part three for the for being a first part three. This is one of those where you have to hit hard, but then, you know, since you're going uphill, but then you know, 
you know, either hit it a bit short and roll it up, or or attempt backspin. Although changing impact point can have marginal effects as well, it doesn't seem to be as noticeable here as it is in uh, Toastal Tour, but it's nonetheless uh, it's none the, nonetheless worth uh, worth making note. Time for bump and run. See that that's that's where that skill comes in handy. Works well in Toastal Tour. Works well here too. All right, we got a sort of long but relatively simplistic par five. Unless uh, I've uh, unless I find ways to really beef up my power, I might not be able to get on in two. That's a 280 away. It's not quite going to happen. Interesting. Tree's still not on the way there. But I make it a fair bit of a ways down. Not quite approach distance, but I can still hit a sand wedge. You'll notice that it's rain that it's raining. This impacts your shots in that they'll go a little bit lower than usual, lower and harder than usual by a small amount, and that for the most part, both topspin and backspin are weaker. That out of the way, maybe try to aim a shot that incorporates the slope. Sandwich will land fairly softly. So I only need to allow a few yards for it to do its work, but maybe not that softly. I thought it'd be softer than that. Oh, but most importantly, it impacts your putting. It makes the green slower, so you have to add about an extra 50% to what you normally do for distances of this range. But just to be on the safe side, maybe something like this. See how that really slowed down toward the end? So far, so good, with four birdies. You'll notice that also that I'm changing the impact points uh, towards fades, uh, but um, it's a way to, if your shot gets too strong of a draw or fade one way or the other, then you can try to strain it out and you can actually squeak out an extra couple yards that way. But it's, it's normally not a huge deal. I'm placed slightly short of the flag and let Faxpin uh, settle it down. I must once again note that my character's spin is weaker than a character you would normally use in Toadstool for. If you're a stronger character, this can be one of those do or die par fours where you could try to cream the ball as close to the green as possible, but you got those trees in this lake to contend with. Uh, pretty much forced to go fairly conservative here. This is a good candidate here for backspin. of the way the slope is going. Yes! How do you like them apples? Look at all that confetti. There's bound to be. There should be confetti. And you notice that that badge is, uh, is green with an E on it. That's the eagle badge. It looks a lot more glorious than uh, in Toastal Tour. Maybe it's more glorious still in World Tour for the 3DS. I can't really comment on that because I do not actually have the game. And it may sound blasphemous, but I actually do not have a 3DS. I used to have a 3DS, but I had um, I had accidentally and terribly destroyed it uh, by dropping it on an edge, and it you know it terribly, horribly, no good, very badly malfunctioned. And it kind of demoralized me, and now I'm waiting to raise up for the uh, 
Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire bundle. Let me point out that question to you while, you know, we sort of get through the uh, um, nature of going through this in a relatively passive way here, but I'm assuming that one of that it's it's highly likely that you're gonna get a poke one of the uh, Pokemon games if you have a 3DS. So, which one would you pick, Alpha Ruby? Uh, I mean, what am I saying? Uh, Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire? Those are the ones. Now, unless you know, I I see more information that suggest something different, I'm going with Omega Ruby, because I actually was previously raised on Sapphire, and initially I had thought that uh, um, Kyogre's power and and just overall aptitude as a Pokemon was far stronger than, uh, um, than Groudon's, but seeing it's, you know, that the whole primal, uh, the primal devolutions and stuff, I'm tempt- I'm- yeah, Omega Ruby is- will be my choice, uh, this time around. Although then the question becomes, why in God's name is Nintendo delaying the- the new 3DS model in North America to 2015, when basically two of the biggest games, you know, to, like, come out in a long time since freaking Pokemon XY, it- like, after the holiday season, like, Nintendo, why? Especially considering that, what, you're releasing it in, in all- in, in all places, Japan and Australia first. I don't get you sometimes, man. Oh, I thought I was gonna have a pin shot or something for a second. I keep forgetting how freaking far that these shots roll. They roll a lot. Let's make it. Good, good, good. Oh, well. Yeah, because that's another question. It's like, okay, you know, do I really, do, would I, do I want to wait for a 3DS? No, no, you know, I want to get, you know, a 3DS with, uh, you know, all the stuff I've been missing all these years. Like, uh, um, yeah, it, it was, re it, it really upset me because I was, I was most of the way through Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon and then, you know, I wrecked my system. So that makes me really sad. There's a tree in my way, so I have to come up with an alternate shot. Oh, alternate shot strategy time. How often do you see someone put on the fairway? Ah oh, well. I'm in approach distance, so that could be worth something to me. play a guesstimation here of how how this will roll, since there's a lot of slope that's dictating how this ball goes. And I'll fail to get a badge here because I was relatively negligent on aiming my drive and I ended up stuck against a tree from my second shot, but the, the two eagles that I've had make up for that for the most part, especially this early in the game, it's not common. Here we have a par 5 that is actually sort of on the short side, but you no. Know, Unless I get up this mound, might not make it in two, who knows. I, I do have topspin I could try to depend on. And I make it. 263 to go though, so that's a lot. You never go quite as far on your second shot as your first, because the T is the optimal lie in the game. No, there's absolutely nothing to impede your ball, not even the ground itself. All right. Well, we do have a bump and run opportunity. You always want to make sure that as you're clubbing up, you're actually aiming at the flag still, and then adjust distance accordingly. Maybe this backspin's unnecessary. We'll see. But no, it's not. Excellent. We're playing real well here. Another another deceptively tricky par three. Hmm. Imagine if I didn't get the POW clubs. This should not bite more than it goes, because it's a freaking wood. So, should be in good hands here. Especially my spin is not incredibly strong, so 
that turns out to be good. In general, aiming for an area of the green where there's not much slope going on is better to aim for than to try and fail to get close to a hole that is in some difficult, difficult putting areas. We have another typical-ish par 4. There's a fair bit going on as far as elevation and bunkers go. But there's also a lot a lot of safety to hit towards. Six iron. Maybe if I land on the down slope and with some backspin, it'll gently roll to a stop. Oof, that was what a tease. Overhit by a few feet as usual. You never wanna you never wanna regret underhitting. You'll never make it if you underhit, but you always have a chance if you overhead. So you don't want you don't wanna test how softly you can hit a putt. Especially if there's slope involved. 75. This will probably end up slightly short, but with a green like this, it's probably better to be short than long. Yeah, this just this just looks and plays beautifully here via the uh, um, via the Wii U. Here, it's uh, I'm playing on a 32-inch television, and uh, it all like it it looks. It looks like playing a really high-end uh, Super Nintendo game. Which, that's kind of how the Game Boy Advance games were, but... You no, know, you, you would think that it would be a bad idea to try to... Uh, to try to release uh, games at uh, 240, 320, uh, 3, 240 resolution on a service, you know, that's laden with 720 and 1080p televisions, but... Whatever Magic Nintendo did to up the resolutions... Great work. Three more to go. Another thing that's making this fairly easy is is that there's not much wind to consider. Like especially if your ball if you hit your ball low enough, then the wind is barely a consideration. As usual for these mid irons, I play it a little bit back, but then I use backspin to gently coerce it to uh, stop. Probably couldn't have done that if there if there was any wind, but there's no wind. Man, it's a little sad, you know, missing out on that one badge there. But my gosh! All right, so now we got yeah. This, this course's par 3s are pretty tricky, considering the rest of the course is pretty easy here. It's, it's kind of long, and the pin location is you know, does not allow much distance margin, so you either have to, like, clip, clip this area and hop up, or, you know, if you're strong enough, use an iron to get on there and then slow it down as best you can, or just outright aim somewhere else. But who really wants to, who really wants to hit a long putt there like that? So we'll see what we can do. This will probably end up going a little short, but we'll see. We'll hop out and... Well, considering it's a wood, I mean, it's it's still going to put up a fair fight against the uh, greenside rough. That turned out pretty good. And the 18th hole is a par 5 that... While by the crow's nest is, is itself not long, it is a huge dog leg that wraps around this large water hazard. And so, it's a very good, uh, conclusive hold to, to a course like this, and it plays significantly longer than the 411 that is suggested. Just, you know, play nice and safe there. 
you want to try to minimize the frequency with which you, your ball lands on adverse slopes because then you know that that makes accounting for distance and spin more complicated try to spin this as much as I can and even if I can the green that's around there is reasonably flat so it shouldn't be too hard to oh wow I actually made the distance but it's not hard getting there now I have a pretty flat I have a putt that will basically not go left or right at all it's just a matter of hitting it hard enough so I have to add a few feet for slope and then cutting through the rough and other stuff is gonna add a fair amount so just make sure I'm aiming at the hole and then if, if your aim is like dead straight then you really almost cannot overhead so we'll see how this goes there we go Perfect ending. 22 under already. I I'll guarantee you though that the later courses are, are more difficult, so don't you worry. 302 points, that is a lot for this stage of the game. Let's split them up in a... Whoa, 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 that's... Lots of points and stuff. Leveling up my main guy 3 levels and my cohort 2 levels. Pretty awesome. Distance is always awesome. Maybe do the control first, and then next time, next time, take care of the uh, take care of the shot. Keep the impact and drive high for the most part is the best way to go. Maybe occasionally correcting uh, Ella's uh, trajectory when I get the chance to. I have won the singles tourney at Marion Club. Yes. Beat the Marion tourney high score. And then I think depending on how well you do, you can also get a memorial, you can also get a memorial score. You surprised the heck out of me by winning the tourney, you blew my mind. Defeating Joe for the championship is in Small Potatoes. And then that basically will grant me, you know, rights to play at the Palms. Of course, you know, as far as singles go, there's still a couple things left. There's this one challenge here, if I'm able to hit hard enough. And then, uh... You may recall that we saw Joe, he's sitting over there, I can talk to him and that will have me challenge him at a match. But that'll be, I won't have time for that now, but... We'll see if I can do this, because I added a fair amount of yardage to my drive when I leveled up after that tournament, so... I should have a better chance now. Should have a better chance. We'll see. Just land on that, and then... My god, could you stop? Could you stop? Wow. Hmm. Yikes. Let's see what happens. Bounce. Ooh, that's tight. Well, I might just be able to pull this off, though. Might. Got minus one. Lose it. I'll lose a tiny bit of distance, but hopefully it's just little enough distance. Uh, yeah, no. Crud. Crud. I'll have to. I'll have to put that one off yet again. I'll need uh, probably another 10 extra yards, at least so I can confidently drive over that fast fairway patch and not have to depend on it in order to get the bounce on there to land on that area reliably, because that's quite a ways out there. All right, that'll be, that'll be good for this episode. We're a little over 25 minutes in. 
That was the uh, singles tourney. Just, you know, steamrolled through with uh, good technique there. And so uh, next time uh, we will do a, f you know, close out, uh, close out single related activities and, uh, you know, maybe grab my partner to do some stuff with me and, uh, which the only extra things that would be I would be doing with the partner would be the ma the doubles match and the doubles tournament. Those would be the only extra things I don't have to like do all the side stuff all over again with my partner or anything weird like that. So um, no, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this episode of uh, Let's Play Mario Golf Advance Tour via the Wii U Virtual Console. I'll hope to uh, see you next time. So thanks for watching. <laughs>